I know it's going to be crazy. You know, we'll have both floors rocking and rolling. Denver bars and restaurants are ready to party for the Stanley Cup Finals. Some of the precautions to keep people safe with COVID-19 cases on the rise. We definitely, for our own team, have a lot of like self-care strategies. Gas hitting another record across the U.S. The record price now at $5 a gallon. And check your gas tank. The high gas prices have thieves getting desperate. It was like $50 worth of gas just on the floor. Plus, the highest paved road in North America is open for the season. Good morning and welcome to Denver 7 News. I'm Jessica Crawford. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday. Here's some stories that we're following for you for this weekend. Thousands of people will rally for tougher gun laws in Denver and across the country today. The biggest March for Our Lives rally will be in Washington, D.C. Activists will call for lawmakers to pass tougher gun restrictions after recent mass shootings in Buffalo, New York and Uvalde, Texas. The march in Denver starts at 930 at Civic Center Park. Today is National Gun Buyback Day. It's a chance for you to get rid of unwanted guns, and you can do that in Aurora today. The event is from 10 to 1 at the Heritage Christian Center. It is a drive through Your guns stay in your car, and they have to be unloaded in the trunk or the back seat. The nonprofit Raw Tools will take the guns and turn them into garden tools. Officials are reminding people to stay safe anytime they're out on the water. Since we got a late season snowstorm, water could have more debris in it and it could be moving faster. It also means the water's colder, so officials recommend wearing a wetsuit or some type of thermal clothing. You should also wear a life jacket and attach a whistle to it so you can alert others if you need help. We're taking a live look outside right now across the Denver metro skies looking nice and clear, making plenty of room, Stacey, for the sun. <laughs> We'll have plenty of sunshine today and very warm temperatures as well in the mid to upper 90s this afternoon, a little warmer than what we've experienced the last few days. Sunny skies out there now live from our city cam uh, park, city park camera. Our temperatures in the 70s and 80s here for the Front Range and the Eastern Plains at this point, and we're warming up quickly with those temperatures headed into the upper 90s. It'll be hot and dry this afternoon all along the Front Range. The I-25 corridor temperatures staying in the 90s. We'll even have 91 in Castle Rock. 94 in Parker with 97 in Fort Morgan, mostly 70s and 80s off to our west into the higher elevations, but high fire danger here again for southwestern Colorado as our temperatures rise and we'll also have a heat advisory in effect for Grand Junction. Our temperatures expected to be 100 degrees and higher all weekend long. We'll talk more about when some cooler air will arrive on the seven day forecast in just a few minutes. Stacy, thank you. Breaking at nine, a Clear Creek Sheriff's deputy shot and killed a man overnight who they say tried to stab one of their deputies in Silver Plume. Deputies say they were called out to help a driver who got into a crash. They say that the driver became uncooperative and was armed with a knife. They tried to negotiate with him until they say he tried to stab a deputy. That's when a deputy shot and killed him. The CBI is conducting an investigation. Gas prices in the U.S. are now averaging more than $5 a gallon. The nation passed the $5 mark overnight, but many areas of the country are paying much more than that already. Here in Colorado, our prices are $4.86 a gallon. They jumped 30 cents in the past week. The national average has jumped 20 cents in the past week, and that's up nearly $2 from last year. There are several reasons for the jump in prices. Demand's going up. Global oil prices are rising due to sanctions against Russia and there's limited refining capacity because the U.S. shut down some refineries during the pandemic. As gas prices go up, we're seeing more gas thefts. Stacy Morris's husband took their car to get a flat tire repair Thursday. He quickly learned something else was wrong. Video he took showed the $50 worth of gas he had just put in draining from the tank. He took it back to the dealership, which confirmed that someone had drilled a hole. I get the times are hard right now with recession, with money crisis, not getting paid enough, prices going up, but you can't just take what's not yours. The dealership told Morris that replacing the tank could cost several thousand dollars. AAA says the best way to protect your vehicle from this kind of crime is to check on your car every day if you're not driving it regularly and try to park in a well-lit area or a garage if possible. 
Economists are blaming higher gas prices on another high inflation report. Inflation hit its highest rate in 40 years last month. Consumer prices are now more than eight and a half percent higher than they were last year at this time. Prices jumped one percent from April to May. Decorations are out along Larimer Square. This is ahead of the Stanley Cup final. Banners with burgundy and blue are hanging up as excitement builds across the city. Bars and restaurants are preparing for packed crowds and they're ready to cheer on the Avs, but they're also keeping an eye on COVID. The state says the Denver Metro is now at high risk for COVID-19 spread. Several restaurants tell Denver 7 that their number one goal over these next few days is to keep staff healthy so that they're ready to go for the finals. We keep COVID tests on site. We want to make sure if any of our staff feels sick that they have a test ready to go. We just want to stay on top of all the CDC guidelines. We always take all the best precautions we can, but yeah, we need everybody on board for this. So I'm hoping everyone plays it safe, keeps healthy and we're ready to go because this is going to be crazy. I can't wait. And Denver hasn't announced any plans to reinstate mask mandates. Ball Arena tells us that it's working with the NHL and the city to keep up with health and safety guidelines. Masks are strongly encouraged, but they are not required. The arena also has more health and cleaning protocols in place. We have a better idea now of when the puck will drop for the Stanley Cup final, and it all depends on who wins game six of the Eastern Conference Finals tonight. Right now, Tampa Bay leads New York three games to two. If Tampa wins tonight, they win the Eastern Conference. That means game one of the Stanley Cup final will be Wednesday at Ball Arena. If New York wins and forces a game seven on Monday, that means the series won't begin here in Denver until a week from today. When the Stanley Cup final does begin, you'll be able to watch each game right here on Denver 7, your home for the 2022 Stanley Cup final. The second largest ovarian cancer run walk in the country in Denver is taking place today and the event is bringing together hundreds of people to Denver's city park every year. And Denver 7's Colette Bordelon joins us live from city park where the walk is underway right now, Colette. The walk is going right now. This group that you can still kind of see behind me, that's a group that's walking a mile. And we spoke with one woman in that group. I'm going to tell you a little bit about her story in just a moment. But you're going to see a lot of teal out here at the park today. It's the color for ovarian cancer. And while the people out here are walking, they're thinking of their loved ones, or perhaps they are actively battling that disease. Now, here's some pictures from a couple of years back and what this race looks like here in City Park. It had to be held virtually in 2020, scaled back last year. So this year, it is huge for participants since many with ovarian cancer have been relatively isolated over the past two years and looking forward to being back together here in person once again. Now, the race also a chance to raise awareness about about ovarian cancer, which doesn't have a screening test. So it's really important to be paying attention to common symptoms like bloating, pelvic or abdominal pain, or difficulty eating, eating or feeling full quickly. And the woman that I spoke with who has ovarian cancer, it's her second reoccurrence of that cancer. But she says today for her, it's really all about hope. I specifically didn't look at the stats because I know for ovarian cancer, they're not very good, but I continue to be optimistic and I'm living my life day by day and I just booked some cruises for the spring and so I'm doing as much as I can. Doing as much as she can and doing it gracefully. That was Judy Sherman. Now money raised from today's walk, it goes to supporting the Colorado Ovarian Cancer Alliance. So all of the money that's donated does support causes that many of these people out here today benefit from directly. Donations, they run through June 30th. Live in Denver, Colette Bordeaux on Denver 7. Colette, thank you. Taking it day by day. Well, we know wildfires can spark at any time in Colorado. Coming up, we're getting a look at this new technology that could help firefighters better contain and respond to the next wildfire.